Socio-cultural changes in religion during the decade following the war do not reflect the concept of a lost generation. The definition of a lost generation according to the British Library is the generation characterized by doomed youth, hendianism, uncompromising creativity, and wounded, both literally and metaphorically, by the experience of war. To dumb it down, religion did not become sadder due to World War I. That's a Roman numeral, you teching idiot! People were split on the idea of religion. Some people stopped believing because no loving God could bring these horrors among his subjects. Other people were led to religion because they needed something to reason with the war. Just to prove that, my good creditable author friend Matthew Shaw wrote, For some, the futility and brutality of the lethal conflict destroyed any vest, vest, vestige, vestige, I think, I don't know, it's going to be up there, of uh, faith while others found refuge in their religion. Not everyone who still held on to faith agreed, though. Churches had many different ideas and viewpoints of the war, which eventually led to conflict. That conflict led to the churches splitting. Now, I know what you're asking. Gary! Aren't you supposed to be telling us how religion did not reflect the concept of a lost generation? Are you aware that you're supporting the other side? And the answer is no. No, I am not. It actually led to many new religions, so people could now practice their own beliefs. People became more satisfied with their religion, and that's not lost generation-like. People found hope in religion. Churches were considered a safe area to worship freely. War memorials were built and respected those who died while also helping those who were living to move on from the war. Another thing my bud Matthew Shaw said, religion gave some sort of meaning to the years of struggle and loss. Churches helped people cope with the horrors of the war. It gave them a reason to go on, or at least a reason not to fear death. The idea of afterlife gave hope to many soldiers on the field, and then after the war. It's not that they wanted to die, but rather they weren't afraid of death. Religion gave people a reason not to fear, or at least be less afraid of, death. Yet another thing that isn't lost generation-like. Everything up in a quick recap, religion was affected by the war. Yet the changes that religion went through didn't represent a lost generation. Those changes include more religious options, offered hope to people who became lost due to the war. It gave people the opportunity not to fear death. That's all. Hope you learned something. Bye, bull. You're not funny. Sociocultural changes in religion during the decade following World War II. World War II? World War... <sighs>